Hello and welcome. My name is B.I. Joe Mazza, pastoral associate at St. Zabina Parish in Belton, Missouri. And I'm here to welcome you to another Dino series question. As we continue our reflections on our lived faith experiences, we continue our series on what it, what's involved in being Catholic. Um, and we're using Catholic again with a small c, uh, meaning Catholic perspective, a Catholic vision, a Catholic worldview not a denomination. So today's do you know question is, do you know why being Catholic requires a universal vision? Catholic comes from the Greek word katholikos, meaning universal, open to all. Um, and the early followers of Jesus picked, up, picked this word up as a descriptive of what they were about, open to all, universal, welcoming, and inclusive of all. As a matter of fact, uh, the earliest uh, universal church council, the Council of Nicaea in the year 325, uh, formulated the Nicene Creed, which is still used today by most mainline Christian churches, in which they, they defined uh, the, the Christian community, the church, as one holy, Catholic, and apostolic. Again, Catholic with a small c, meaning that these are descriptors of the Christian community. So. What does a Christian universal vision look like? I'm going to list a number of characteristics what this universal vision demands or calls us to. And so the first one would be that a, a Catholic Christian uh, breaks down boundaries, uh, national, political, and ethnic boundaries, and seeks to unify all people in Christ. Second, um, it puts people ahead of national identity and political ideology. Third, it is multicultural, a world church, not just a European or American church. It is called to develop a universal vision in all that it says and does. Fifth, it regards everyone in the world as my neighbor. Sixth, it looks beyond self-interest and strives to meet the needs of all of God's people. And seven is basically nonviolent, working towards harmony, not tension, cooperation, not competition, respect and dialogue, not suspicion or avoidance. It's really very important to realize that these are very key characteristics of what it means for a Catholic Christian to have a universal vision. But unfortunately, today, many Christians do not have this universal vision. Um, too many Christians, for example, use their Christian faith uh, as not being truly Catholic. Uh, they maintain a narrow provincial outlook. They fail to understand that their loyalty is first to Christ and to the gospel and not to national, political, or economic systems. They fail to put the demands of the gospels ahead of their own personal and national self-interest. They idolize the particular and forsake the universal. And they, their self-interest actually prevents them from making disinterested, honest judgments based on gospel values. So by failing to be Catholic, Christians betray their own traditions. And so to be faithful to the Catholic worldview, therefore, one must look at the world and all of God's creation from God's perspective, from God's viewpoint, which is one of a universal, inclusive, and all loving one. And therefore our vision as Catholic Christians should be one that connects with God in an inclusive and loving vision of all the connected of all connection between all humanity. So I hope this has helped to explain why being Catholic requires a universal vision, and I hope you'll return again to more the Uno series questions as we continue exploring what what's involved and what demands of being Catholic are all about. Thank you very much.